One of the big things talking about taking down is the question, the big Thomas Center. Everybody's asked about the name. Any talk about taking down the Thomas name and naming rights? That, that has been under, under discussion and will probably continually be under discussion for a period of time. Mm -hmm. And as we evaluate, make sure that we do the right thing. All right, we've got lots of viewer questions, okay. so we'll get to those in just a minute, so don't go away. More questions with the BISD Superintendent Vernon Butler next on Live at 5. Well, we're back to answer your questions with BISD Superintendent Vern Butler. So let's go straight to our KFDM Facebook page. We posted the fact that you are going to be here. So Mary Jones wants to know, it is going to get better for the kids in BISD. Uh, will you give transportation back to the after school programs? You know, right right now, because of the financial exigency for the district and, and, uh, and what we're, we're under, uh, we need to provide the programs that we can, uh, we can afford right now, and that's providing an educational program, instructional program. And you know, the after school, would we love to be able to bring that back? Yes, but right now financially, we're just in a position we can't do that. But something you may look into Cert later? Certainly would like to look into that, but it would go into the next uh, budget cycle, which would not be in for the next school year. And it, depending on where we're looking at is the dollar amounts that we have and the fund balance, it could be a consideration. All right. Um, Ajon Wilson says, how do you plan on getting the district back in order without taking it out on these kids? Well, you know, it's never about taking anything out. It's <laughs> always about these kids. We're here for these kids, and that's, that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we're providing what's necessary within the classroom. And we know that there's some issues because of finances that may have affected some programs and the like, but overall, that's what we're here for. That's, that's my responsibility is educating the students, all students. Uh, how is the teacher shortage being handled? Oh, that's an, that's an everyday question. <laughs> you know, and again, it has to do with our finances and evaluating the number of students we have in our classes right now, the number of teachers on a campus. It's still under evaluation. We have some concerns. I'm being honest with that. We have some serious concerns about being able to find qualified, certified teachers for these positions. It's going to take us some time and we have to be sure that we have the budget available that we're able to hire these teachers. And currently we've got some permanent subs in the classrooms as opposed to certified teachers? Yes, there are some substitutes that are in the classrooms. They certainly are selected by the principals to make sure they meet the needs. Uh, and I know that within the schools, the way we operate with substitutes, it's not just uh, just turning them loose. It's a matter of making sure that we have the right person in the right position. So it's not just somebody's aunt or cousin. They have no, certain they, qualifications. No, they have to they have, have to. the qualifications. They have to go through the personnel department to make sure that, uh, that they can be in the schools. Okay. Uh, when it comes time for an election, will any of the former elected trustees be able to run for those positions again? It's the board of trustees is what, when the t uh, time comes for the election, the board of tr any member of, of the community uh, that qu has the qualifications will be able to, uh, to run for that office. All right, and on that note, we're going to have to end the interview, but I do want to mention that you've got some coffees with the superintendent yes. that you're doing in the public. Your next one is going to be? It's next week. I believe it's on the 16th, if I'm not mistaken, Marshall at Middle Marshall School. Middle School. And we'll be looking forward at 9 o'clock in the morning. We'll look forward to parents and community members to come and, and meet with us. And myself and my senior staff will be there to answer questions. And if anybody wants any of the other times, because you've got them scheduled for several different times yes. and scattered throughout There's different schools, right you can there. visit the BISD uh, website. Yes, everything is, is posted. Thank you so much. We Thank appreciate you, you sharing your time and your thoughts. Appreciate it. Thank you.